I don't really see nobody stopping me. I don't know what kind of a lot of shit came from the bottom to the top, and this I forget. So this all the sparking, but the parking if they got me. What's going on, YouTube world? Welcome back to TCR. I'm Dolan. This is Tactical CO2 Replicas. Today is kind of a mail call day. Slight unboxing. Um, what we're going to be doing is checking out this tactical conversion kit from Buckrail. And let's see how this works for the crossing icon. And yes, I've done some mods to it. And this is going to change the appearance a little bit. Um, once I show you guys what's going on and um, what's in the box, you'll see what I'm talking about. But we're going to unbox this, see what's in the box. Move this out of the way. And um, do a little install. Check it out together, see how it looks. So without further ado, let's bust this bad boy open. See what's in the box. Now I will say this, Buckwell was very quick on, on delivery. And this is the first item I bought from them, but check out their website. They do have a bunch of cool products for a bunch of different um, air guns and they're high quality 3D printed. But let's go ahead and see what I got here. Let's get this open. I'm ready to see what's happening. All right, let's get that bad boy open. Get the sheath back. All right, move this. All right, well, that's a nice little invoice. Bubble wrap. And check this out, guys. So this is a 3D printed. It allows, what it does is it allows you to use um, actual AR style grips. So I can go and replace this with any AR style grip that I like. Uh, let's see. Um, so far, it looks like the, like they pretty much followed the same pattern as the original trigger guard, which is pretty nice. Being 3D printed, it looks pretty freaking sturdy. Um, it's pretty nice. So you get this grip adapter. Um, also comes with your buffer tube style thing and uh, the minimalist buttstock is the package I ordered. And you also get this foregrip. Now, one thing I will say is that the foregrip is decent. I like it, but I think I'm going to try to figure out how to maybe chop the original and use it still because I want a full size. But we're going to see what this looks like first and foremost. So let's get everything open. Um, man, actually, it looks pretty nice, though has everything even has your picatinny uh pick rail up front and very nicely 3d printed it is very nice and sturdy of course you know with any 3d printer you kind of get the ridges and such but it looks pretty cool it actually adds to the grip texture so all right let's get this stuff all aside open <clears throat> Okay, standard little minimalist butt stop. That's pretty decent. The reason I wanted this kit, like I said, is because I want to be able to have an adjustable butt stock. Nothing on here is adjustable. Uh, it has a fake cheek piece uh, that's not adjustable. It looks adjustable, but it's not. And I'll just say that the grip is kind of uncomfortable. I mean, it's a very nice rifle. It's very nicely built, but there's just a couple things that, you know, I would complain about. Of course, with doing what I'm about to do, it's going to alleviate this and a couple other things, but we'll see what we can do later on to get those back. First things first, I'm going to remove the butt pod, butt bipod and get that off, remove the magazine and all this. Let's get ready to install this bad boy. All right. It's a sad day right now, but we'll figure it out later. Try to make this quick for you guys because I'm going to check it out as well. All right. 
there. And let's remove, let's get this out of the way. Now, comes with that screw. So far, it looks like some pretty good quality stuff. So shout out to Buck Rail. Um, if this works out, we'll probably be doing some more business. I promise you that. Okay, so, oh, one more thing, get this uh, grip off. And then, okay, access to the screw there. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that out of there. Tactical conversion kit. Oh, almost lost that bad boy. Caught it. Okay, let's put that screw there. Let's go ahead and get this one out. Pretty sure it's released, but let's go ahead and get this one too. That's not going to reach. There we go. Alright, I'm going to need a fatter screwdriver. I'm gonna need another screwdriver, so give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Hopefully, this one works. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That one bites. out of there. All right. Now you should be able to just remove the stock pretty easily. Pretty self-explanatory, straightforward. All right. First time I've removed the stock off there. Pretty nice quality. Yeah, that's the naked bare bones right there. Pretty kind of scary. Didn't realize I had that much uh plastic from drilling oh well it's my work bitch so hey it gets dirty that's what it's here for so first thing we're gonna do is take this buffer tube and install it into this i believe oh okay Didn't say I'd need a socket. There's no instructions. That kind of sucks. Let's see if I have a socket available and ready to go. All right, I guess we'll be right back, guys.
Okay, we're back. Uh, finally got this piece together. Uh, had to go and dig through my toolbox. Took a little minute. Uh, this is a half inch drive on the nut in there. So um, now that that's all together, you can see it's pretty much like your AR lower almost. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this and get that attached um, to the body itself. Now you do reuse this screw, I believe. So let's go ahead and get that bad boy in there. Actually, it's just easier to go this way. Make sure to reuse the screw. It'd be nice if this came with a little bit of instruction, but Double check and see what this screw is. I don't think that'll work. So. Okay, anyway, we gotta get this screw in here and see how that works out. There we go. Should have got my torque, but let's see now. Now the only thing left is to install this hand guard. And you only need let's see. Oh yeah. Gotta remove that. So grab my little box of bits here. Okay, so you got to adjust that to get the screw in. Gotcha. And then, I believe this, this is the one screw you have to use from their kit. And hopefully you guys can hear me, but it's pretty easy so far. A couple little difficult parts, but nothing too crazy. Okay, and that's a hex key. Let's get that. Like I said, I'll probably ch be changing this out uh, once I figure out how to, once I measure this, I'm probably going to measure this and cut this front piece off and re-add it back to the kit. Because I, I kind of like the full length um, foregrip and more protection on the uh, tube here. But... All right, with that said, I believe my thing I gotta do is retighten this down. Okay, so let's get this retightened. Not over tight. And clear some of this crap out of the way. Let's see what's going on here save that screw and of course we now can install buffer tube I mean the uh, butt stop come on you there we go all right and the 
that said, now we have the tactical conversion kit fully installed. Um, everything seems pretty sturdy. Um, I'll probably be trying to figure out how to mount my because these are actually in lock, but I don't really mind. They just go on the side just like that. I don't mind that. They don't look too bad. But we'll see if I can if I do that or not. Um, also, I'll be getting a fully adjustable uh, rear butt stock with the monopod and you know the cheek riser and so forth. But I mean. Yes, this is tactical CO2 replicas, but I also like your great barrels and rifles. So we'll be delving a little bit more into the uh, PCP side of things. But I tell you what, as of right now, I really like this. It makes it a lot more lightweight and comfortable. And it adds to my tactical um, uh, purpose. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, and also I'll be leaving a link in the description for buck rail and check them guys out and see if there's any products that you could use. I'll probably also be getting a suppressor from them because as of right now, I can't afford a Don EFL at pretty much cost as much as this gun. So we'll be going the cheap route for now, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe and thanks for checking out the channel as always. This is TCR. We'll see you later. I don't really see nobody stopping me. I don't know what kind of a lot of shit came from the bottom to the top. And that's how it gets.